So this is my first slide. And as you can see, uh, the title is really how to turn a crisis into an opportunity. I guess we have like, you know, uh, we, we went through like different stage of lives, crisis over crisis over crisis. So that's going to be like today's topic. But before I jump into today's topic, right, I just want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, it is not exactly, you know, uh, a session for us to uh, showcase uh, Hoseki, but it's really a session right, where we power pack it with a lot of information and we want to share with you guys because, uh, you know, number one, Feng Shui knowledge uh, as much as I can. I try and make them as bite-sized as possible. Second thing that is very, very important, much more important than the uh, you know knowledge is actually the case studies that I'm going to share today, which are like real-life Hoseki client case studies. So I also hope that you know it can help you guys in some way, uh, one way or another. Lah. So um, Hoseki has grown uh, to more than uh, 6,000 clients as Bebo have shared, but it is not possible you know it, it will never be possible right if if not for the support of the fam so I, I call you guys the fam because like you know we're kind of like family we talk to each other we whatsapp each other sometimes right when you're having a meal right you guys send me a picture of whatever you're having or so then i'm like hey i'm like working there then and alone in my my house and then i'm like you know doing my stuff like working on stuff and you send me like all the nice things that you're having like hey i'm, I'm having steamboat i'm having this you know, spare a bit of thought for me lah. Okay lah, no, I'm just kidding. But I'm happy that, you know, we are sharing our lives in this way to each other and I'm really happy for you guys. I see a lot of people that have been with us since day one and it's fantastic that the way that you have been growing, you have like, you know, you have fantastic jobs, you have like great families and you're spending time, you know, trying to balance work and family and you're doing a really great job. Some of you guys have like a really great house. So I'm, I'm really happy uh, about about how how this is progressing. This seminar is really a way, like I mentioned, to give back to everybody, and not just the seminar. I'm also giving away the ebook for free, which I struggled with it for a while, honestly speaking. But uh, you know, then I realized that okay lah, you know what, whatever lah, just just give it away. So um, the ebook is not ready yet, but whoever is in this seminar, we will keep a note, and then after that, we will send you by email. Is that okay? Okay, uh, uh, so if that's okay, then everybody please type okay for me and I'm going to go on to talk about uh, today. Okay, um, please remember to stay until the end because we are going to give you a, uh, you know, we're going to have like a short lucky draw as well. Okay, let's go. So, uh, in case you want to like rage quit on me, right, because you think this is going to be a boring session, I just want to tell you like, you know, uh, what kind of juice we are packing today. We have a 2023 forecast and we have the, you know, all-time favorite Zodiac forecast. I have my reservations, but still, I'm, I'm still going to give it to you guys. And we're going to talk about like how we should read a Ba Zi chart. Then we're going to talk about like how to use Feng Shui and Ba Zi in our uh, daily modern living. And lastly, I'm going to share like the Feng Shui tips for 2023, like super important tips that you can use immediately in order to improve the feng shui for next year okay interact with me talk with me just tell me like whatever that you want uh, but you know always the backbone of all our conversations all our conversations has been what is spa zi? that's like the you know multi-million dollar question ever because if we don't get past that we never never get to anything now let's get to some fundamentals. What do you guys think Ba Zi is? Because there are some new people here, but for those of you guys who have been here for like really long, you guys surely know why I want to ask this question. So let, let somebody else take the question. Okay, what is Ba Zi? What exactly do you guys think Ba Zi is? Okay? Any takers? Uh, ancient wisdom from our ancestors. Okay, let's get about a few more. Let's get maybe one or two more, please. Okay, uh, what about birth chart? Okay, uh, something else? Okay, a sort of chart. Let me tweak the question a little bit. What is Patsu used for? DNA, okay. Okay, DNA. Uh, something else? Like, what is Patsu used for? Okay, count one's life. Okay, uh, life reading, tell your fortune. Okay, that's great. That's great because I used to have replies 
I used to have. Okay, I used to have lah, but I don't have it right now. So I I think that the quality of 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 you guys right have have risen to the next level already. Because I used to have replies that Pazi is to tell me what phone numbers I should buy so that I can win the lottery. Okay, nobody is telling me that today, which means that you are up on another level already. You are like next level kind of uh you know uh spirituality. So Pazi is generally what we call. A system of forecasts, but it is used primarily for self-discovery. Okay, very simple. So in the past, ah, in the ancient times, right, ah,、uh, we want to know like how to improve ourselves. We use Pazi as a form of self-discovery, understand ourselves, and we plot a route map to discover like you know how we can improve. Okay, and it is really about like I mentioned, how you can be the best version of yourself through. Uh, I don't know whether I should use this word cultivation because <laughs> it sounds very、um, it doesn't sound very modern. But yes, you know how you can use cultivation to create the best version of yourself. Okay, I like this uh, Fang uh, Ying Lai. Okay, like self awareness. That is exactly right. Okay, exactly right. Let's move on. So now that we understand what Ba Zi is, right? Then a lot of people will ask that, eh. Uh, Chase, how are you gonna like you know do a forecast on two zero two three then? Uh, look into the future, use a telescope. No, we use exactly the same system that we use for Pazi right to do a forecast for two zero two three. As much as I can use a Pazi to read a person right, I can use Pazi to read a year as well. So we plot two zero two three like a person, okay, and then we can find out exactly what kind of year is two zero two three. Just the same method, believe or not. Okay, don't believe also no point lah. But it's just what I'm telling you lah. Okay, so you better believe. Okay, so when we plot it right, and we will realize that, eh, what kind of person is two zero two three then? It is a person that likes to enjoy, and it is a friendly person. So which is why two zero two three right is going to be a year、uh, with a lot of what we call friendship stars. Okay, so、uh, I'm going to see like a boom in、uh, entertainment. We're going to see a boom in F and B. So those of you guys who like to drink, say yay. Okay, but don't drink so much lah. Cause cause alcohol in Singapore cost quite a lot of money yeah. Okay, so yeah, we 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 know people. We know you like to drink. <laughs> don't announce it to everyone. <laughs> okay. Tourism, ah,、uh, it's going to see a boom as well, and events marketing is going to see a boom. So, ah,、uh, if you want to find a job, or if if you are like somehow transiting between like di- different careers, right? This can be one area that you can consider. Ah,、uh, I never say confirm, confirm. I say consider. Okay. Second thing, if you are an investor, it is also. Sectors that you can consider as well. Yeah, to more bubble tea. Okay, yeah, bubble tea you can always buy, but yeah, to more bubble tea stores. I I guess. Uh, tonight, ah,、uh, Shane. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So so uh, Joseph and Shane are like joining people. So if you guys are interested, you guys can join them as well. Uh, how about trading company? Okay, I'll、uh, answer all these questions. Ah,、uh, maybe at the end of the uh, you know. Presentation because then there are still a lot of information that we need to go through. Next, we are going also we are also going to see a breakthrough right in research and development right due to strong wood stars. So wood stars are also called academic stars next year, and it is located in the center of every single household, which is why next year ah、uh, we are going to see breakthrough in R and D in a lot of industries. Okay, but 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 that being said right ah.、Uh, It is also easy for two zero two three to face what we call、um, backstabbing because the friendship star right in two zero two three is a water year, but the friendship star is also a water year. So this water element right in two zero two three ah is flickering. So which means that it is very easy to combine and turn into another element. So from water, what does it turn into then? Easy to turn into what we call the fire element. What does it mean? It means greed. So we are also going to see a lot of cases where you know friends backstab each other because you know I can get something out of it. So need to be careful. You know, whenever that we do something, we need to be careful of the outcome. Okay. So two zero two three is going is also going to be a year of litigation. So wood stars also stand for like you know a draining kind of effect on the water. So it means over communicating. So this over communicating star is very interesting. Ah,、uh. sometimes you talk too much. Ah,、uh, you cause problem. Anyone have problem with? There, no. Yeah, I go to work. I talk too much. Ah, then my boss not happy at me. So exactly, 
this is exactly the problem that 2023 is going to face. Okay, a year of litigation, a lot of legal trouble. So for those of you guys, right, that have always, you know, easy and prone to this kind of issues of backstabbing and legal issues, right, stay out of trouble, okay? Sometimes right, it's better to just keep your cool than to win an argument because an argument sometimes no no ends okay tell all the husbands that all the husbands will understand <laughs> okay then uh best thing that we can do is to really to remain grounded there's going to be like a lot of opportunities uh, but you know due to you know uh you know a lot of this uh, backstabbing right sometimes we need to do our diligence first before committing into certain things like an important business deal okay and always remember to be grateful to people okay be grateful to people. That's the most important thing. You know, don't be cause of some some money and then after that, you know, break your friendship, you know, cause problem with your family. Try to stay grounded and be grateful to the people have that have helped you before. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is everyone's favorite. Okay, this is everyone's favorite, the Zodiac. And today, we're going to talk about the Zodiac and I want you to really focus on, you know, those Zodiacs that have the Tai Sui clashes because those are like real issues that you really could face in 2023. Let's go. So, I wanted to ask you guys like, who I should start with, but you know, it's already kind of like set already. So, the first one is going to be red. So, I know that, you know, uh, you are only going to be like one of the 12. So, please bear with me as I go through every one of them because we need to be nice to other attendees as well okay this is part of like staying grounded and being nice to people <laughs> that i just spoke about so the red uh, is going to be uh, uh quite rich next year because there are a lot of wealth stars and career stars within their chart so great benefactor luck to help their career and also their business and excellent investment luck as well in especially in the month of may but however right the red zodiac right will also tend to overspend and like to show off okay on top of that right their family business partners and colleagues right can have relationships affected due to like what mabel said right the tai sui clash so this tai sui clash of the red and the rabbit right is what we call the root clash so this root clash right causes you to sometimes appear to be straightforward and of course borderline root it can cause a lot of misunderstandings the most serious months that are affected right are march and june okay so rats generally experience a good year but you will need to take note of these tai sui clashes causing relationship issues Okay, next one, uh, oxes. Okay, anyone uh, ox here? Any ox here or not? Okay, so oxes, right, are going to face another set of uh, challenges, but generally a moderately uh, good year with good level of energy at work. Okay, it's easy for them to become motivated. They want to achieve things and they do have benefactor luck next year as well. But however, the Oxers will have decision making uh, being affected next year due to some uh, what we call indirect wealth uh, negative wealth stars okay so it's easy for them to make the wrong decisions especially in regards of that of investments so try to seek the help of a professional and not take things too lightly always do your due diligence before committing a huge amount of money okay so for work uh, you will need to learn to be considerate and patient okay it's easy for oxers to become aggressive and demanding so uh, oxers should focus on networking and growing their income through business and career instead of investments if you still want to invest, right, do it wisely and do your research and remain a low profile to try and avoid legal confrontation. Exercise regularly for oxes because you will tend to work too hard and affect your health in 2023 as well. Okay, next one we have the tiger. So we know that the tiger, right, 2022 have this clash, but what about 2023 then? After a very tough 2022, right? 2023 is going to present more opportunities for the Tiger Zodiac, okay? Going to present more opportunities for the Tiger Zodiac. You will feel more confident, okay? And career-wise, uh, unfortunately, there are a little bit of obstacles from what we call 
uh, backstabbers, whichever way that you want to say, uh, xiao ren. And then uh, for some of you guys here, maybe you, you will term it as like the evil eye. So uh, financially, right, there's a tiny little, uh, what we call robbery star that could affect them. It's easy for them to spend money, uh, overspend on uh, things that are not as necessary, you know, luxury la, and maybe uh, want to show off. La, uh, and their health is slightly affected as well. So buy a D humidifier because you know it's easy for the tigers right to get what we call viral infection so i guess uh dehumidifier works Le tigers generally need to learn uh, how to handle rejections in 2023 they have to keep trying and maintain positive okay that's the most important thing so there's nothing that you cannot handle compared to 2022 okay next one we have the rabbit Wow, power. So why? Because uh, Rabbit is also having the uh, Tai Sui clash in 2023. Uh, but however, uh, however, uh, they haven't really had a lot of good years uh, in previous years. And this year, it is going to be more positive. Although there is the Tai Sui clash. So positive outlook even after two years of struggle. Okay, so the career uh, definitely will see a upward search. Uh. So who, uh, who, who is the Rabbit here? Bunny, Bunny. Any Bunnies? Any bunnies ah? So 2023, all the bugs bunny ah, is going to outrun the hunter. Okay, hunting season cannot hunt uh, cannot hurt you that much. Okay, so career is going to see like a huge upward surge. And remember to build connections with the people around you because you are going to meet some really powerful people, right? They can propel your career uh, to the next level. Okay, uh the problem with the rabbits are that right although you might see good wealth luck right but it's difficult for you to generally feel satisfied okay generally feel satisfied and uh you know this feeling can eat into you it is part of the Tai Sui clash that you are feeling as well so health wise right you are going to see a downturn for all the rabbits okay partly also because that it is the Tai Sui year so be careful of what we call illnesses and also injury stars okay injury stars well, uh, okay, although there's these Tai Sui clashes, but you know, uh, for all the rabbits out there, rabbits are one of the most blessed uh, zodiacs, uh, and so that you know, they will receive some form of uh, uh, protection called a Sui Jia as well. So they just need to prevent themselves from doing like really radical things, right? And it will be a very good year for all the rabbits out there, okay? Cheers to all the rabbits. Okay, next one, next one. Next one is very important. Why? Because uh, I have some staff uh, who are dragons and then they are listening very closely to this. <laughs> so this is the dragon clash. Uh, dragon one, dragon one, dragon. Dragon also have the Tai Sui clash this year, okay? Yeah, Tai Sui clash this year. Hey, uh, anyway, uh, if if your boyfriend want to like see this thing, right? can you tell him that it's next year is a good year for dragons to get married? Okay, la, you know what? Just kidding. Now, the real thing, the real thing for dragons. Dragons are going to see a good year for career progress, okay? It's going to, uh, dragons are going to see a good year for career progress and career uh, is very easy for them to find recognition at work, okay? They might even get promoted as well, okay? They might even get promoted. So the key person uh, that's going to propel the dragon forward, right, is actually their mentor. So look for anyone who is their superior or anybody, right, that's older than them. They have this mentor type of benefactor luck. If you have been to my benefactor uh, seminar talks, right, you will know what this is, okay? However, however, it's easy for them uh, to feel a few negative uh, emotions. Number one, they are very moody because they have a lot of work to do next year and it is easy for them to offend people. And after they offend people already, this person become their xiaoren and become their backstabbers, okay? Point number one. Point number two, their bosses will have, will have high expectations of them. So it's easy for them to feel tired and exhausted, okay? So this is the two issues that they need to deal with, okay? So they might lose some money as well due to family commitment, okay? But generally, relationships are not too bad. So for those dragons that want to get married next year, okay still okay. Uh, they have some negative well, uh, health stars, so it's easy to get headache. So when you need to take a break, right, take a break, okay? Except for the dragons working in my company, then don't take so much break, okay? Don't take so much leave also. So do well in your career, remain calm and professional, <laughs> okay? Don't start a new business, right? blindly and don't invest blindly for all the dragons because remember you have the Tai Sui clash, okay? You have the Tai Sui clash. 
And lastly, okay, take care of your health. If you need to take leave to rest, take leave to rest, okay? Yeah, but ask your boss first. Okay, uh, that's all for the dragon. Going on next to the snake. Any snake here or not? Boss can take, cannot lah. Boss cannot take leave, okay? Boss cannot take leave and you also cannot take leave. Okay, no time to take leave from now until New Year, okay? So uh, next one for snake. Any snakes here? Alright, good. Okay, my hobby is snake. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, I mean the zodiac, uh, not that he looks like a snake. Okay, uh, next up. So for the snake, right, good year and generally, right, if you work very hard for 2023, uh, your hard work is going to pay off to you for all the snakes. It's easy for all the snakes, right, to see significant change in their lives. And this change uh, is usually positive. Okay, it can be like a new family member. Anyone wants to have a baby? Any snakes wants to have a baby or not? Next year, it could be a good year for you to have a baby. Easy for a new family member to join you, right? If, if you want to have a baby. Lah. Then for the singles, uh, it's easy for you to get married. And then you have a new relationship. So someone new in your life as well. Okay, no men, no babies. Who knows? Okay, so but. The bad thing about snakes, right, will be that, right, next year, you also need to be careful about Xiao Ren. As I say, a lot of the zodiacs, right, actually facing this issue, but some more than the other. Snakes is one of them that next year is easy to attract Xiao Ren. A lot of people are going to become jealous of your success. So be careful of the things that you say to them. Because if you reveal too much and you overshare, you know, that could be a problem. People cannot hurt the things that they don't know. So don't overshare, okay? You have friends who overshare. Or anyone got friends who keep on oversharing. Yeah. Yeah, even overshare about the coconut or so. Yeah, just kidding. Uh. Okay, so we'll share, uh, we'll face challenges in workplace and business next year for snakes because number one, you are going to face challenges from backstabbers. Number two, you are going to face a fierce competition from your competitors, okay? Competitors. So try to be careful. But my advice is that, right, don't join them. You are better than them. You are better than them. So don't get into the office politics. Never, never, okay? So just be yourself, okay? Be yourself. But don't don't tell people la, smile, smile, mm, xiang, xiao yi xiao, okay? But don't don't join in, okay? Don't gossip. Okay, you will be able to earn from investments. So snakes are uh, you can earn from investments. So try to keep a lookout, especially that of overseas investment, okay? Try to have a lookout. Uh. And your love for enjoyment might set you back a little bit. So try 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 to have a little bit of self-control. Okay? So that's all for the snakes. Next one, I'm gonna talk about the also facing the Tai Sui issue right, is the horse. But generally, it is a very good year for horse. Okay? Very, very good year for horse. It's easy for you to find good support from your superiors and also family members. Any horses here? Horses. Horses say Su Ma. Okay, me, Andy. Wow, nice. Okay, Andy Lau is here. Okay, Tareen. Okay, uh, Lee Saw. Doro. Okay. Horses, so relatively good year for the horses, good support from your superiors like I mentioned, and you might receive a super pleasant surprise from your husband for all the female horses in 2023. Maybe during your birthday, he will give you a special gift. I don't know, maybe that special shiny thing that you have been eyeing or that leathery uh, square thing that costs like $20,000, maybe you might get that, okay? So good investment luck for horses as well. And uh, you tend to spend a lot of time at work. So maybe, 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 just maybe, it will affect your relationships slightly, okay? That's all. Okay, horses need to watch out for their health because cardio health will be slightly affected. And it is easy to have injuries because of the Thai sweet clash. So if you exercise, right, okay, but don't, over exercise. Leathery square thing, ba kwa, eh, come on, man. I was talking about a bag, la. ba kwa, okay, ba kwa. leathery, okay, it's, I mean, it's slimy, la. I don't know whether it's leathery or not, a lot of oil. Okay, don't don't take too much, la. otherwise, uh, New Year, every time after New Year, uh, people from Aquaman become ba kwa, man. Okay, very, very good wealth year and career year for the horses. Too much pressure from the work can cause health issues and make you a little bit emotionally unstable. 
take a little bit of time to rest. Okay, a little bit because it is your good career year. You still rest for what? Okay, so rest a bit. Okay, just make sure that you are well rested and and not too much affected. Okay, and、uh, learn how will this how will this Tai Sui also affect you? Key thing. Don't say the wrong thing. Okay, because if you say the wrong thing for the horses, right, you are going to regret it. It will severely affect your relationship. Okay, severely affect your relationship with you and your family members, or maybe your friends. Control your emotions well, because that's the key to maintaining your good luck. Okay, next one. Uh. Okay. Uh, Tan Gi Yong. Eh. You know what, uh, Giyong, uh, can you text us at the very,、uh, you know, end of the presentation? Then I'm going to tell you what you have missed. Would that be okay? And then all these slides, right? Feel free to request a copy of it. I can send you guys a copy. No problem. Okay, no problem. Yeah, but I can't. I can't go back. Okay, can't go back because I'm a good horse. 好马不吃回头草。没有，我们赶时间，所以没有办法。Okay, so let's go on to the goat first. Let's go on to the goat. Okay, uh, goats are generally going to have a very very good career year, and it's kind of like a good year for their investment as well. So, if you have been investing in real estate, right, you might see some really good gains, right, uh, for the goats. Okay, you might. Uh, don't worry. Sure, have repeat telecast one. It's like New Year, this ah, 新年的贺岁片啊，有 repeat telecast 的 Okay, so exceptionally good for business ah, for goats. Okay, and the other thing for goats, right, is that right, you have great. Uh, you have great leadership qualities. So, given your good leadership qualities, right? Don't blend into the wallpaper next year.、Eh. You will need to come out、uh, and enjoy, or even learn how to be in the limelight. So, be confident on taking on your new leadership role. Break out of your comfort zone. Okay, break out of your comfort zone. Yeah, cat also same. Okay, later we talk about the cat zodiac, the thirteen one, number thirteen. So yeah, remember to do okay in all your good good things for goats, right? Remember to do some charity. Okay, give back to the people who are not as well off, not as good luck as you. Okay, next one, we will have the monkey. Any monkeys here? Any monkeys here? I mean monkeys in the zodiac, ah, not you look like monkey, ah. Okay, any monkeys here or not? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Monkeys. Okay. Monkeys are、uh, generally the year is not super good. Okay. It is moderate. Okay. Uh, it is okay for your career and okay for your wealth lah. You are also going to meet benefactors as well. But however, right, it is difficult for monkeys to be emotionally balanced because you will see a lot of unfairness at work. You will see a lot of unfairness in business. And you will be very, very upset and angry. So the key challenge to the monkeys is that right, they are going to be very impatient, and emotions will be affected. So it's easy to be frustrated in your career. You need to learn to be innovative and creative. So take a step back, chill, learn to be innovative and creative instead to solve your problems. Sometimes you pick tick ah, you cannot solve anything as well. So no point being pick tick right. You need to be productive as well, and don't take shortcuts. Okay, when you are angry, it's very easy for you to succumb to、uh, shortcuts. So the important thing is that right, don't don't take shortcuts, but try to invest your time in your career and make the best out of it. Your health will be affected, right, because you are angry and you're working very hard. So it's very easy to fall sick. You know, so don't overlook all these small ailments、uh, and go and see the doctor if needed. You will have somewhat a challenging year, moderately challenging year. But however, if you are confident, right, and you manage to manage, uh, and you manage to control your emotions, right, things will still be good. Be diligent, okay? Be diligent, and things will, uh, uh, you know, fall into place somehow. Okay, the next one I want to talk about somebody who is very clash. Okay, someone who is very clash. I'm going to take more time to talk about this zodiac. Anyone who is in the rooster zodiac? Is anyone in the rooster zodiac? Oh, Joseph, Joseph, okay, okay, Eve, okay, Eve, Eve. The husband 是不是叫 Adam? Ah, 不好笑哦 Sorry, ah. Okay, okay, Jonathan. Okay, uh, taking a little bit of a、uh, time for Rooster, ah,、uh, because Rooster is going to undergo what we call a tough year. Okay, quite tough, ah,、uh, quite tough for Rooster. 
you are going to go through what we call uh, Uncle Roger year. Okay, emotional damage. Yeah, emotional roller coaster. Okay. Yeah, should I take something and throw and do the emotional damage thingy? Okay, never mind. Let's not waste time. Okay, it's very easy for roosters, right, to feel unhappy at their friends and family because, you know, they need a lot of emotional support. While when people don't support them, right, they become angry. So you need to learn how to control your emotions really well, you know. Uh, the other thing is that, right, for roosters who want a career change next year, uh, it is probably a bad idea because that signal of wanting a change, right, could be coming from a raw uh, place you know the fundamental thing that is signaling to you could be wrong it's just because that you yourself right are very very uh, you know having a tough year so you feel like changing your jet, uh, job sorry so feeling feeling uh, cannot be totally trusted one so try to postpone these plans right until the following year where you are more stable okay rooster this year good right uh, look at my face yeah, so uh, relationships are going to suffer as well. So uh, you will face some misunderstandings with your partner or might face some misunderstandings. Very high chance actually. Uh, and the kind of health uh, problem right, that you might face right, is gastric issues. Okay, gastric issues for the roosters. So the most affected zodiac for 2023 is going to be the rooster because of this Tai Sui clash. Okay. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more, it is the wood clashing the matter, okay? So you will need to learn to manage your emotions. That will be the key to nav navigating for 2023. Alright, uh, next one. Going to be dogs. Any dogs here or not? Okay, any, any, uh, anyone uh, with the zodiac of the dog? Okay, dogs are going to be in a good run for next year okay everybody shout who let the dogs out yeah okay so it is a good year for all the dogs uh, for your career and your business yeah so you might become a little bit proud though because of your success so the other thing is that once you reach a certain level of success next year right you see some gains you might become a little bit confused as to what you want exactly in your life okay so you will have you will have a somewhat a good run a few months and then after that you feel like oh okay here i am i've achieved some stuff this year what am i going to do next so easy to achieve success but after that easy to become a little bit confused so it is your best year to start a business everybody says yay Okay, don't be afraid to take risks for all the dogs, okay? Don't be afraid to take risks and stay motivated. However, for all the dogs, right, since you have this enjoyment star, it's easy for you to overspend. So don't spend on luxury items, but instead, spend on useful things like education and also feng shui. <laughs> yeah, this is okay. So it's easy for you to suffer in your health as well because it's easy for you to fall into like a decadent lifestyle so if you tend to overeat right next year you'll eat even more watch your diet and if you are still confused about yourself right you know don't overthink okay the stars are in your favor just be brave and do what you need to do okay last one last one last one who did i miss out what is the last zodiac that i missed out anyone can make a guess or not Okay, it's there already lah. Okay lah, don't need to guess lah. Swan yow. Okay, so the next one is actually the pig zodiac. Pig zodiac. Who is in the pig zodiac? Anyone? Anyone? Not you look like pig lah, but your zodiac is pig. Okay, anyone? Okay, great. Okay, uh, you're gonna see like growth and prosperity stars. You know, if you are in the pig zodiac, right, it's really great. Embrace new change because you will see a lot of new people in your life and all these people right some of them can be your benefactors okay you'll make a lot of friends and you're gonna have a great year of fun so it's a super good year for your professional career and a lot of seniors will also help you along the way try your very best right to pick up as many new skill sets as possible because it is a favorable learning year okay it is a favorable learning year so you will be able to travel a lot and enjoy as well see the world okay otherwise why do you want to live your life okay but learn Learn to share the joy with others, okay? And control the wanderlust if it gets out of hand. Because if you want to maintain a great professional career, right? Learning is still one of the key things next year. So that's all for the peak zodiac, okay? That's all for the peak zodiac. Alright, uh, okay. Uh, next up. 
we have just talked about all the different zodiacs, okay? And I took this phrase actually from the Maroon 5 uh, song, I guess, but we are somewhat more than animals, right? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we all agree we are somewhat more than animals. But anyone know that, right? You know, whenever we talk about zodiacs, right, everybody will be damn excited. And they always feel that, you know, zodiacs are like, you know, what, what Chinese astrology is about. But do you know, do you know that actually Chinese astrology is much more than our zodiac? And that anybody here know right uh, actually your ba zi chart right contains four different zodiac anyone knows that does anyone know that actually your ba zi chart contain four zodiac so as you can see right as you can see i have i've drawn out like a brief uh, ba zi chart a fake one lah for all of you guys okay so the zodiac that we are always very familiar with, right, comes under what we call the year pillar. What makes up the ba zi chart? Okay, it has eight different characters. That's why we call it ba zi. But it's made up of four different pillars. The year pillar, the month pillar, the day pillar, and the hour pillar. What we are always very familiar with is always the zodiac that is located in the year pillar. But do you know that there's another zodiac also located in the month pillar, the day pillar, and the hour pillar? Which means that one person can easily have like four different zodiacs within their ba zi chart. So, if you are using your zodiac sign to analyze your personality, right? It can be very, very limited. How many of you guys have heard this before? Hey, uh, you know, uh, rooster always like to talk, 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 talk. Then the ox work very hard, work, 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 work like cow. And then the rat, very cunning. Yeah, how many of you guys have heard that before or not? Then the girl, Hozi, you young, she young. Yeah, so everybody heard of that before, right? But the thing is that, right, using this method is actually very very inaccurate because you're over generalizing stuff okay which is why if you want to gain a very deep understanding into your own personality and your own luck cycle right we need to use what we call a full ba zi chart okay not f-o-o-l uh, f-u-l-l so you need to use like a full ba zi chart to gain a very strong understanding of what we need to do like a root map how do we read a ba zi chart then okay how do we read a ba zi chart then very simple. We go through what we call the five element cycle. This is the very, very, very fundamental thing that we need to know about the Ba Zi chart. One element generates another. How many of you guys know of this five element cycle? Anyone, anyone knows about the five element cycle? Hazel say, learn something new today. This is not the only new thing that you are going to learn today. I'm going to give you a lot of things today. Okay, yeah. So the five element cycle, right, is actually one element generating another. Wood generate fire, fire generate earth, earth generate matter, matter generate water. But they somewhat also destroy each other as well. Like wood will, gen uh, wood will destroy earth, earth will destroy water, water will destroy fire, so on and so forth. But what is important? Why am I trying to drive? The previous Ba Zi chart that you see has eight different characters. Now, the key thing, all these eight different characters are made up of the five elements, okay? And all of these elements are then also subdivided into what we call the yin and yang, okay? Yin and yang. So, when you put all of them together, right, all these different Chinese characters of yin and yang of the five different elements, right? Their interaction and their mixture and, and how they actually blend together is how we read your ba zi chart. Sounds simple? Okay, the next slide. Sounds chim, exactly. Okay, so it's going to take more than a hundred hours, right? For someone uh, to become properly trained before you can read the Ba Zi chart properly, okay? But today, today, I'm going to share a simple method, right? Where we can learn a little bit. I wouldn't say a lot, but I would say a little bit about the Ba Zi chart. And this method, right, is called the concept of the Day Master. Anyone heard of the day master concept before? Okay, Hazel has heard of the day master concept. Anyone else? Angel has heard of the day master concept. Okay, just like this person, your day master is in water. Okay, Sophie, a little bit. Okay, yes. So today, we're going to 
learn a little bit about this day master concept. Okay, my day master is fire. That's great. Okay, which means that you're probably a person that's quite friendly. Okay, now the thing is that, right, we look at the day master. Where is the day master? The day master is under the day pillar. Where in the day pillar? On the top of the day pillar is where you can find your day master. Okay, so if you know how to plot your own path to chart, you can plot. After plotting using any app available, you go to the day master, which is the day column, and then the element on top is your day master. That's it. That's it. Okay, how many different day masters are there, and why is it important for us to understand this concept? Because, because the day master, right, is somewhat like a brief. Backbone of your personality, somewhat like a brief backbone of your personality. It is much more accurate than what we call right, much more accurate than what we call the zodiac method, where we like to say the rooster like to talk, the dog is very loyal, the cat is very cunning, and the monkey likes to monkey see, monkey do. So, using the day master concept, you can have a little bit of like a, a brief uh, insight into your own personality. I wouldn't say like totally very accurate, but I would say like much better than the zodiac, much better than the zodiac. And where are you going to find it? You are going to find this in our ebook. <laughs> so you are going to find this in our ebook, which we are going to give uh, to you guys. Everyone right who comes to this seminar will get the ebook for free. Okay, we'll get the ebook for free. It is 70 plus to 80 pages long. I want you to get your hands on the ebook because it is very important. Okay, you can learn about the day masters within the ebook. And second thing is that right, there's tons of feng shui tips in the ebook as well. Third thing is that right, I tell you something about the ebook that you shouldn't miss one. Super important because I spent hours in Starbucks, right, calculating this. I calculated uh, all the best, 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 best wedding dates and all the best, 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 best business dates of 2023. And I put them into the ebook for you. Okay? For you. Just for you guys. I've done that. So if you have the ebook for free, if you want to reference that, right, you can have a look. Got, got, got divorce tips. Probably not here. Okay, probably not here. This is a positive feng shui seminar. <laughs> so, not talking about that here yet, okay? Not, not, not talking about that here yet. But in general, right, I would love for you guys to get your hands on this ebook, right? So you can have a, you know, a rough idea on all these good dates, okay? Next up. I know the day master concept is daunting, okay? And I want you to do me a favor. If you want to know your own day master and you don't know how to plot your own Zi chart, uh, scan, scan the QR code. Let us help you to read your day master for you, okay? Scan the QR code and type for us, I want to know my day master. Let us do it for you, okay? Scan the QR code, fill in the form. We will get back to you what your day master is, okay? Yes, you want to know your day master, right? Scan the QR code. Yeah, scan the QR code. And while you guys are scanning, right? While you guys are scanning and our consultants helping you to do the uh, reading for you, right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a very important thing because I chung through all the 12 zodiacs without drinking a single drop of water. So I'm going to drink water now first. Where's Wilson? Ah? Every day during my every day, every time during my live stream, ah, Wilson will ask me to drink water. How to scan? Ah? Yong handphone scan. <laughs> How to scan? Ni screenshot the goho laho ni laho ni ni yong naga QR scanner kai uh QR scanner kai kai naga picture yo okay. Le.
I have a lot more information to impart to everybody here. Okay, shall we continue? Good to go. Let's go. Okay, uh, have you ever heard this from someone? Hey, Chase, you, you know, I've, I've heard this before. Lah. So the guy was like saying like, you know, uh, hey, Chase, but Ba Zi and Feng Shui is so old. You just shared the day master technique. Okay, but it's like, you know, created like tons of years ago. How can it still be relevant? Do you know that there are people coming to me for Feng Shui, right? And they tell me that, can we keep this a secret? Because I don't want anybody to know uh, that I come for Feng Shui because it will make me feel unprofessional. It will make me feel irrelevant. And my bosses will also feel that, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm out of touch. Why do I believe in these things? How many of you guys have heard before? No, my whole family believe. Good for you, Hazel. I just screenshot and save. Okay, great, great. So, um, how many of you guys? How many of you guys have friends, right, who believe in feng shui, right? But they are, but they are really afraid of letting people know about it. Quite a lot of you guys have friends like that, right? The reason is because that, right, throughout these many years, right, feng shui, right, has become a little bit irrelevant. But at Hoseki, right, the key mission that we have. The key mission we have at Hoseki, right, is to show you that actually feng shui, right, cannot only be cool, okay? Feng shui can be cool and not only can it be cool, right, it can be super straightforward, right, and relevant as well. Don't believe? I will show you all the real life case studies of what we do at Hoseki, okay? Let me show you how to use ba zi in our modern day living. Yeah. I don't tell you, I show you. The first kind of person uh, that always comes to me uh, for Ba Zi reading, right, is what we call the personal uh, reading. Okay, personal reading generally is like three different hmm, uh, interesting aspects that they would love to know. The one is wealth. Always people come to me about wealth luck. You know, when am I going to be rich? How am I going to be rich? Okay, wealth is a very important part, right, of the Asian living. We love wealth so much, right, we even have a god of wealth. Am I right to say? So, the first aspect is always people coming to us for like wealth luck. So, there are people coming to us to understand their wealth potential as well. Okay, so this is a very common, common and simple personal reading process. The second one, right, is about their personal health. They want to know like what kind of health issues right that they might have in the future so i think we can all agree uh, that if you have or you estimated to have a health issue when you're 60 years old you cannot start exercising only when you're 59 right everyone can agree with that right yeah because if you are forecasted to have a health issue right you probably want to start way before and try and prevent that from happening that's why feng shui and ba zi right it's actually pretty time sensitive one so the second one is actually health issues and the third one is what we call critical years. You want to know what years you're going to have like big challenges and you want to prepare years ahead, not the year before, okay? So this is what we call a personal reading which is very, very common. Everybody do it all the time. Now the next one, uh, the next slide is very, very interesting. I'm going to spend some time here because lately I have super a lot of clients coming to me for what we call relationship issues. Ganqing, uh. You know, Nianqing Ren like this word, huiling. Wow, my huiling is hurt. My huiling is hurt. Anyone heard that before? Uh? Relationship. Anyone having like relationship issues, don't put up your hand, okay? Keep it within yourself. Uh. As long as you know that I'm speaking to you, that's fine, okay? So, relationship stars. Relationship stars are one thing about, you know, something that I want to talk to you about today. Requests for people coming to us super a lot to know about their relationship, okay? Calculate wedding dates as well and also to solve their marriage issues. Okay, when people are dating, right, the common question they are always get from couples coming to me for reading is whether or not they think that they are compatible with each other. Eh, hey,我跟他是可以的嘛? Compatible de ma? So it is not so easy uh, by seeing the zodiac, okay? I'm a pig, then he's a snake. I don't think we can see eye to eye. Okay, we have to dig deep into the quality of each person's ba zi chart and see whether this person is a good person before we can comment on compatibility, okay? 
So recently, I actually did this for a couple, and they are generally okay. Uh, but the issue is that right, the girl has some uh, uh, issues with her. She's very very sensitive. In fact, ah, uh, in fact, when she come for a uh Bazi reading session, right, and I I just commented lah. I just commented and I say that right. I think you need to work harder in your job. And then she started crying already. So she's a very sensitive person. Sometimes can be a little bit emotionally unstable. So I'm happy to know that after the session, right, the boyfriend was able to understand the girl a little bit uh, better, and their emotions, right, are kind of like match right now. So the boyfriend knows how to handle the the girlfriend a lot better right now, and their relationship actually improved. So Bazi reading, like what I mentioned, is a form of self discovery for couples to learn more about themselves as well. Before they get married, okay. Before they get married, okay. Yeah, you. I always emphasize keyword one, keyword. Uh. Yeah. So, next one, you can also think of parts right as a form of insurance as well. Okay. Uh, I always feel parts is a form of insurance, and and couple insurance is something that I always highly recommend you guys to buy. Okay, not just the real one, but also in terms of parts as well. Okay, why? A while back, right? I actually did a parts reading, right, for a uh for a for a client lah, and I also did their home feng shui as well. But um, unfortunately, after I do the home feng shui, right, I realized that okay, uh, after after the after the assessment was done, we sat down at the void deck, and then I. Told the husband that husband no problem, okay. Uh, house also no problem, but wife got problem. Okay, so the wife right is actually having a clash in her current luck cycle, uh, which is a very very serious kind of clash, right? That causes hey her personality to become very very extreme. So she is a very very bitter person, and I can feel it during the session. So she complain about everything except herself. Yeah. Then, uh, she wants to start a business. Okay, so interestingly, she also wants to start a business after the session. After the session, then she wants a loan from the husband. So because she has this clash, I highly recommended the husband. Ah, a, you want to put on paper, no? Because this loan, ah, I don't know, ah, but sounds not safe to me. Why? Because it is a big sum of money, three hundred thousand dollars. Okay, somebody says three hundred thousand. How many zeros are there? San Ling 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 Ling. Okay, so we advise the husband to actually do up a proper loan agreement. But the issue is that he he questioned me back. Okay, but it's my wife lah. You want me to do a loan agreement? Are you sure? I say that okay. Normally I wouldn't ask people to do that, but she has this clash, and you know during the session she was off all the way. I don't think that you should just give her the money like that. So the issue is that right after he give the money. A few weeks later, he called me. The wife want to divorce him. Do you think that he will get the money back? Question mark. Ah. Yeah. So the wife want to divorce him. Ah. Do you think he will get the money back? Until today, ah, have not get back. Until today, never get back. Okay. So, uh, the wife, ah, okay. I want to focus on something that's interesting, ah, but that's not the point. Lah. We can always go like you know days arguing about who's right, who's wrong within this case. But that's not my point of this case study. The point of this case study is that right, the wife was not like that in the past. The wife was not like that in the past, but when her luck cycle changed, she changed drastically as well. So sometimes you think you know a person, but maybe you don't. Because what you know is that person. It could be that you know the original past chart of the person and somewhat the rough personality of a person, but you don't know what caused the person to change until you don't know the person anymore. So spend some money to do your readings because understanding somebody's luck cycle is very important. Okay, understanding your luck cycle is very important. Okay, so 
uh, one last case study, I want to end on a happy note uh, on this relationship sector. So, uh, it's a married couple, the husband is going through a lot of stress at work. Wow, hen yali eh. Okay, but the thing is that like all guys, right, he like to act tough, don't like to tell anybody. But when we did the feng shui for him, I realized that, hey, you know, you're going through quite a lot of stress, why you don't never tell your wife? Yeah, then he was like, okay, should I say or not? Of course you should say what? Then after that, he's like, I pay say to say. Then I said, okay, never mind, you pay say to say, I help you say. Can or not? You want me to say or not? Then he said, okay, okay, uh, can or uh, You help me say. Uh. So I told the wife that he's going through a lot. So you want to talk to him about it? Then uh, sometimes I guess you can go a little bit easy on him. Uh. So then uh, the wife began to understand what the husband was going through. And after that, right, they become happier. Okay, they become happier. So I also did the feng shui for their new home as well. As now, and now, right, they are like, you know, still happy. They are expecting the third kid and then two children in the house. So my key point is that learn to understand each other through feng shui and ba zi. In summary, uh, this relationship uh, is really, uh, you need to be very modern in the way that you use ba zi reading. Okay, it can help to prevent or solve issues in relationships. Can ba zi reading help you if you are single? Yes, okay? Somebody want to ask this question or not? Huh? I know some people want to ask this question. Hey, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a girlfriend. Okay, Chase, you keep talking about all this, but I'm single. What? Okay, do you want to know why you are single or not? Do you want to know why you are single? Problem number one, you go to any event, you like to blend into the wallpaper, right? Problem number two, you join any Zoom call, you like to off your camera, right? Yeah, use ba zi to understand what is wrong with your personality. What is affecting you from meeting people, okay? And then the next one uh, is, A, hey, Chase, you know what? I have boyfriend, I have girlfriend, but I always meet the wrong kind of person, okay? How come I always meet the wrong kind of guy, okay? Because you go Tinder and look for them, what, what are you expecting, right? Yeah, then we use ba zi to see telltale signs, okay? What kind of partner you should avoid, okay? What kind of partner will best complement you? It is not as easy as just seeing the zodiac. Like we mentioned, it's really about the quality of the person as a whole. So if let's say you are attached, eh? what if you are attached and you are not married? Huh? Some people want to ask this question, right? Hey, Chase, I'm attached, but I'm not married yet. How come uh, I'm waiting? Uh, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting until my, oh, my neck very long. How come I haven't popped the question to me? <laughs> okay, uh, if you want to ask this question, we can use Spa Zi to try and analyze this as well. Is your boyfriend avoiding the question? Is your boyfriend reading my Zodiac podcast and then telling you that, okay, next year, Chase say that it's not going to be a good year, Thai Sui Clash, better not get married or not? True story, by the way. <laughs> so, can we use Spa Zi chart to understand why he keeps avoiding the golden question okay does he have commitment issues or does he have someone else okay or does he don't care about you okay so we can use parts to understand these issues if you are facing all this okay next up we have career okay this is a very interesting thing because a lot of people come to look for us for career one who okay people who are going to graduate always like to have this rite of passage right? hey what should i do uh, what should i focus on what are my strengths and talents but more importantly recently uh, there's super a lot of people coming to us for what we call need a uh, life career change super a lot if your answer is going to be can i be an agent right okay then Try not to answer. Uh, try not to ask this question because I have articles written for this already. Okay, not everyone can be an agent. Okay, many many people coming to me asking this question. Uh, what are my strengths and weakness at a mid career change level? It is very uneasy for me because you are forty years old and you have worked like you know almost half your life already. Do you really not know what your strengths and weaknesses are? Is it possible? Well, uh, more importantly, right, why are they still coming to us asking this question then? It's because that the true question behind that question is that they want to know their strengths and weaknesses, but they also want to know how to use their strengths to leverage on the current opportunities that they have. So that's the key thing and that's where we need to use the luck cycle to answer this question. That's a question that's much harder to answer, okay? So what we we'll usually do is that we see both sides and then we craft what we call a root map or a strategic plan to solve the issues for them systematically, okay? Uh, 
we have a short little case study is that there's this lady right who actually is a property agent but she's not very good at doing sales mm, yeah paradox right okay so then we asked her to set up her own media agency servicing clients instead helping other agents to create content and to market their services she's actually a property agent but she's not very good at what she's doing because number one she's an introvert number two right she's very good at what we call crafting content but she has this clash within her chart called a rat and rabbit clash imagine people tai sui one year uh, she tai sui whole life <laughs> okay so uh because she has this tai sui whole life uh, it makes her a very straightforward person Zhiren. yeah what we call titi okay so she is very very straightforward right and people misunderstand her all the time so she always say that my clients dislike me okay but i'm very kind to them yes i know when i see this clash that is exactly who you are okay so transiting to what we call a content creator uh, allows her to focus on her strengths and this is exactly what we do for a career reading okay the next one uh, will be what we call <coughs> Your agent become top sales after you buy Pullman. Of course la. Pullman no more good. You don't have to buy Pullman. I'm going to make friends with you. Hey, you don't have to buy Pullman. Have you ever seen us look at the sky? Yeah. You can help me explain it a little bit. Okay, so uh, the golden question is that, right? For business-wise. Okay, let me continue. Uh, side track. Don't side track too much. Time is not enough. Time is not enough. Okay, uh, how can Bazi help in a business setting then? A lot of things, but we are going to focus on just two things today. Number one, choosing of your business partners. I tell you, ah, uh, if you choose the wrong business partner, true story, ah, uh, is worse than you having the wrong wife. Ah, uh, can die one. I tell you. So we often help clients read for their business partners before they come together, ah, uh, because number one, we want to see whether or not the dates are good for starting a new business. Number two, we want to see how to allow them to work better together, or maybe should they even be be working together? Okay, the second thing is that right, hush hush from M O M, but we also help clients to do hiring as well. Okay, so a lot of people they 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 will engage our services for B to B, and they will help, and then they will ask. Uh, ask us to do hiring for or to assist them with hiring. Usually, high level roles, ah, uh, then they will pay us to do it. Okay, usually it's like CFOs. They want to know whether they can trust this person, or maybe they want to know whether this person is capable. Don't want to waste time, like sales director or CMO as well. So all in all, right, there are like three different kind of readings, right? That generally we do for people. Generally, we do number one macro reading. So the first time you come to Hoseki, we always do what we call a macro reading, the whole thing, okay? Then we do a root map for you. The second one that we often do right is what we call a micro reading. This is what we call the yearly reading for people. So whenever they do a macro reading, they are, they will be like, okay, next year do I still need to come back to Hoseki? Up to you. But if possible, you come back. I will break down by every single month. So the one year reading is basically. Like break break broken down into every single month, January, February. What months is good for what thing? Okay, what months is good for learning? What months is good for you taking a holiday? What months you need to watch out for your health? What months you need to take care of your children? Okay, the next one is what we call a high level reading, called a nano reading. Usually for like high level executives who want to know like okay, uh. Uh, which day should I pitch to my investors? Which day should I hire people? Which day should I train people? Which day should I meet new prospects? Okay, so this is like a high level uh, reading, the nano one. It's a three month super intense date selection reading process. Okay. Okay, next up, how many of you guys have heard of this before? The Trinity of Luck. At this point, I need to drink water. How many of you guys heard of this before? Why am I talking about this? Because a lot of people, right, will tell me, ah, uh, my budget chart is not fantastic. My luck is not fantastic. Okay, but what else can I do? What else can I do? Basically, your life is divided into three different types of luck. 
we have what we call the heaven luck, which is made up of your ba zi chart and your luck cycle. And then we have what we call the human luck, where after you see me, right, through ba zi reading, we can help you to find out certain answer uh, to questions that can improve your luck. The kind of spouse you should have, the kind of career you should take, the kind of business partners you should have, even the friends that you should make. This constitute what we call human luck. And the third one uh, is what we call earth luck. So when we talk about earth luck, what is earth luck then? Earth luck is called feng shui. That, in a simple word, right, is earth luck. So every single portion of this luck is 33.33%. Which is why, if you have not feng shui your house, you are giving up this 33.33%. .33 simple as that okay simple as that so this is called the trinity of luck concept yes correct julius you're right yeah i have a strong affinity with you because your name is the same as my son okay uh this is what we call the trinity of luck concept how can feng shui help you then if you game the 33.33 percent you can you can increase your overall luck and gain an advantage in your lives okay next slide <clears throat> question time who can answer this question what is the most important process of home feng shui who can answer this question what is the most important process of home feng shui Uh, be a bet. I'm just saying home feng shui. You be a better person. Ah, I send you Robbie Williams' the music. Better man. Okay. So we are actually yeah. Okay. Okay. T. Identify obstacles. Setting items. Okay. The most important process of home feng shui, right? Is selection. Selection process. 我, 我在讲 home 风水, 不是 knowing the person, 你还 unit number 什么? Selection. Unit selection. Selecting the right apartment, right, is the most important process of home 风水. So today, I'm going to tell you how to select a house or an apartment. 好不好? 好不好? Today, I'm going to tell you like how we can select a house or an apartment. <coughs> Step one. Okay, before before you, you you roll off the camera, there are five steps. Okay, so bear with me. Five steps. Step number one is what we call qi mapping. What is qi mapping? Qi mapping is finding out the direction of your house and whether or not the direction of your house right fit the layout of your house. Ting ting chua, the direction of your house fitting the chart of yours. But first, we find out whether the direction of the house fits the layout of the house. Why is this very important? Uh? Because when it comes to apartment selection, okay, uh, we cannot change the layout very much. Okay, if your kitchen is here, it's here. You cannot fly the kitchen over there. So the process, right, of selecting the right unit uh, where the layout matches the direction uh, is very important. And this is what we call qi mapping. Okay, it is... And one of the process that we use in qi mapping, right, or one method that we commonly use is what we call eight mansions. It is the simplest method in qi mapping. What should we do then? We divide the floor plan into nine squares equally. And depending on the facing of the unit, right, four squares will be in the good sectors. Four squares will be in the not so good sectors. We will explain more on this within our ebook. But ideally, right, we want the good areas to be located in areas with the good energy like yan nian, shen qi, tian yi, fu wei. Okay, so the main door, the living room and the bedrooms are considered important areas and we want these areas to be in the good sectors. So for example, like you, you look at this bachelor pad. Okay, I call this a bachelor pad because only got one bedroom only. Okay, so 
the bedroom is actually in YM. So the dining is actually in SQ. And the second living room is actually in Tian Yi. So it's all in the good sectors. If we take a rough look at the chi mapping of this unit, right, it is somewhat, it is somewhat a good unit. Somewhat lah, okay? Next up, second step is what we call forms. Okay, forms are forms. Okay, uh, for simplicity reason, right? Uh, by right, we're supposed to use a compass. But what you can do is that you can use your phone compass first. Okay, 你看它 point 在哪里就是哪里 Next up, we talk about forms. So forms are, are very interesting, ah,、uh, because a lot of feng shui masters, right, will place a strong focus on forms. Here is this. That one is there. That one is a poison arrow. This is that. Okay, but I want to tell you guys that right,、uh, forms right、uh, are not everything about feng shui. Okay, they are not everything about feng shui. Okay, number one, let's go through some common forms first. Common forms first. If you live near a temple. Generally, it is considered not good because the yin fire energy can cause accidents. If you live near a hospital, the yin energy can actually cause confusion within the household. So these are simple、uh, things from what we call the form theory. Okay, next. Then we also have what we call the long corridor. This is what we call the crashing sha, and this one can be quite harmful to your apartment. Okay. Then we also have what we call the door versus door, where the qi is being constricted, and there might not be enough qi、uh, coming into your household. So, which is why door versus door is also not a very good form to have. Next up, we have all the poison arrows one. If your apartment has these weird shapes like the one on the left,、um, it is what we call sa qi. It's probably not a very good、uh, living experience to be in this apartment. And then, lastly, we have what we call the skyline crack sha, where you have two buildings together, and there's tiny little gap there. If that tiny little gap is somewhat pointing towards your apartment, right, you are affected by this skyline crack. Okay, so the key thing about this form theories are that right, we go through all these different form theories. If they somewhat affect your apartment, you might want to consider not getting that apartment. Okay, a lot of people they always ask me which one is more important. Ah, a lot of feng shui masters over focus on the form theory. Okay, but is the qi mapping more important, right, or the form theory? What do you guys think? Qi mapping more important or form theory? Mapping chi, okay, both. When in doubt, when in doubt, ah, chi mapping is usually more important because it is mathematical. Right is right, wrong is wrong. But for form theory, right, there needs to be a lot of practice that gets into place. Otherwise, if you keep reading everything as a bad form, ah, I tell you, ah, you don't need to buy house already. <laughs> 你买不到屋子的 property agent 会很讨厌你的。Okay, so in theory, in theory, qi mapping is much more important compared to the form theory. Now, if your feng shui consultant is only concerned about form theory and not concerned at all about qi mapping, you should be very concerned. Okay, next step, we have what we call the qi consistency. Qi consistency basically, uh, you have to use a luo pan and It is one of the most overlooked uh, assessment uh, process. Okay, so let's say if you are facing a certain direction, and let's say you are facing south, when you go to another place,、uh, you are also facing the same direction. But maybe on your lower part, it doesn't show south anymore. So we need to check the house for this what we call inconsistencies. While we are measuring the facing of a unit from one place, if you go to another place and the reading keeps changing. Then this is a telltale sign that there's something wrong with this house. Okay, it should be fairly consistent. Okay, for example, if you are south and it deviates to southeast or it deviates to southwest, it's still considered like not very bad. But let's say if you are south, ah,、uh, and there are many areas of the house are、uh, flying towards the east, flying towards the west, or maybe even flipping to the north, this is what we call a house that will have failed the consistency test. And you should be very concerned about it. Okay, very concerned about it. 
Now the last, uh, one of the last steps, uh, fourth step is what we call the flying stars. When we have the chi mapping, uh, we are what we uh, we are we are like what we call uh, plotting the natal chart of the house, which is the original chart of the house, like the per original personality of a person. But the flying stars will be what we call understanding the luck cycle of the house. Okay, the luck cycle of the house. So you have all these numbers. Uh, simply put, all the red color one are not very good and then the non-red ones are not bad okay are the good stars i don't want to go into the specifics of this because they are all within the ebook and we don't have enough time already yeah my staff keeps showing me like that it means overrun yeah so the flying stars right which one are more important t mapping or the flying stars which is also another form of t mapping my answer to this question directly i don't want to ask you guys is it depends okay because if you tell me yes some people tell me no after that i tell you it depends maybe you will get angry at me but the answer is it depends the yearly flying stars can be relatively important right if a bad year is coming which is the number five it stands for disaster star okay but however maybe the number five is at your main door and your main door is also facing what we call or will be at your main door and your main door is also facing what we call a crashing shark so you have a bad form so now the issue is that right this bad form uh, is going to activate what we call the number five bad star two things come together right the bad form activate the bad star right it can cause a real problem for this apartment or house that's why i tell you that it depends okay so sometimes the flying stars in this kind of situation can be extremely important okay so uh, this is the fourth step. Then next, we want to go to the fifth step. The property also needs to suit you. Four words when we talk about feng shui. Okay, four words. Liang sheng ding zuo. It has to suit you. Now, a good feng shui house, right, must be tailored to you in order to make the house work for you. And therefore, I want to introduce to you two different techniques to do this. Number one is what we call the personal kua technique, right? So, QUA, uh, yeah, so the second one is what we call the Ba Zi system. I would love to cover this, but not today. So we will cover this in future seminars if you guys are up for it. But due to time constraints, right, I need to show you more things, more information. Okay, question time, question, question. I'm living in this house already, okay? And I never do feng shui before. I don't think I need to do it. Okay, since I never do and the house is less than perfect, right? There is no need for me to do feng shui. True or false? Okay, false. False. Thank you very much for answering this question. Of course, the answer is false. Okay, that is like saying that, okay, let's say if I'm fat and I got high blood pressure. No need for me to exercise, no need for me to dress up, don't need to make up already. Hopeless already. Nobody will love me anyway. Cannot be ma, right? We still need to try our very best to help ourselves, okay? So you should still feng shui your house in that sense, uh, in that sense. Uh, you know, don't twist my words uh, in that sense, okay? It's an analogy, okay? So even though you already are living in a non-feng shui house, right, you should still upkeep your feng shui and do your audit because if you do a yearly audit right you can maximize the the 33.33 percent of that trinity diagram that i just showed you so think of it like a regular exercise routine where you need to up upkeep your fitness and your looks okay okay next the next one that i want to share with you uh, is really about tips 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 and tips so if you can take the slides from me if you can't get all these pointers don't worry don't be so kanchong and go and anyhow screenshot because when you screenshot you know what the problem is or not i give you the slides better than you doing screenshot because when you screenshot you also screenshot my face inside and then you show show your friends my weird expression so let me give you the slides instead number one if you want to improve the health of all the men right within your house right place a set of six coins at the northwest sector of your house to reduce what we call the earth effect of the number five destruction star 
okay? Uh, the good areas for people to work from home next year is the southwest, south, and west sectors. Okay, take note. These areas you will experience somewhat strong control in your career and also some form of wealth. Luck. The north sector uh, can be used for spending time with your loved ones. It is a relationship sector. If you have the space, do up a little bit of this small little corner. That could be the same for officers as well. Okay, do up this small little corner uh, for you to watch Netflix with your loved ones, uh, spend time, la, talk to each other, la, chit chat, la, whatever, la, drink coffee. Okay, the center of your house uh, is pretty good for studying. Okay, so you can use it for training your little ones. Okay, you have little kids and you want to push them hard, right? Put them in the center of your house and push them as hard as possible. Buy like, I don't know how many 10 years series, uh, like 100. And then uh, make them work really hard. Put them in the center of the house. If you want, you can place a little pagoda southwest of your house. Okay, it's a small little wealth sector that you can take note. You can place a small fountain here to improve your health and career wealth luck. Okay, southeast here, what you can do is that you can put a white vase to reduce the conflict star and to increase your relationship uh, benefits. Okay, east there uh, is your sickness uh, sector. So what you can do is you can place a little hulu there as well. And northeast area uh, is where you can put a set of golden tissue to protect your wealth from the robbery star and to help you retain your finances in 2023. Then some of my clients will ask me, uh, so where is the yearly wealth sector? Is there such thing such as the yearly wealth sector? I put this slide, I uh, confirm it's yes. Lah. So the yearly wealth sector for 2023 is in NE1. Okay, you can place our Feng Shui tree there or use other forms of activation if you would like. Okay, then there are some places that we also need to avoid, right? Yeah, okay, so in the next slide, we talk about this. Where to avoid renovation? Number one, the tree killing mountain sector. Where is the tree killing mountain sector? Southwest tree. Uh, west 2 and Northwest 1. Okay, these three sectors you need to prevent. If you want to prevent uh, accidents or health issues, right? Try not to. Try not to renovate. Yeah, uh, confirm will give us what you mentioned. Yes, uh, we will. Yeah, so the second thing uh, that we need to take note, right? Is what we call Wu Ji Sa. Okay, Wu Ji Sa. So it's interesting uh, because this Wu and this Ji, right, are actually uh, the Yang and Ying Earth element in the heaven stem. But you will not see them actually on the Luo Pan. So Luo Pan are uh, very, very weird one. Uh. They only got four heaven stems uh, elements. They don't have the Earth element. Why? Because they are considered to be inauspicious. Okay, they are considered to be inauspicious. That's why actually this South 2 and Southwest 1 uh, will be the Wu Ji Sa for next year and you should not be renovating in these two sectors. Okay then, key question, some people will ask, but I want to renovate next year, Lee. then what? What should I do? Number one, calculate a good date for you to start your renovation plan. That's it. Number two, if possible, all these uh, sectors that are being affected, right, and you need to renovate, uh, choose a good date for renovating these sectors as well. Okay, the key is to do proper date selection. Now, that's it for uh, all the information. And the very last portion, right, that I really want to, you know, uh, transfer more information to you guys will be real life case studies already. Real life case studies. The first one is actually how we help a corporate client out with a very bad feng shui house. She spent a lot of money on renovation, right? Without knowing that the renovation is one of the problems, right? Causing her feng shui issues. So upon our analysis, uh, we realized that the qi mapping of the house uh, is very poor. Not just that. Okay, the kitchen is at the wrong place. So adding to it, right, a suppression of the qi. So the house got not enough qi. On top of that, uh, the house also don't suit uh, the client's uh, ba zi, or and also their personal gua. Okay. And still on top of that, right, the way that she renovated, uh, number one, the door uh, is at the wrong sector because it's a landed house. Uh, so the door is at the wrong sector. 
Okay, it is what we call the sector of death and destruction. The living room is actually in what we call five goals. Okay, it's what we call like suspicion. Okay, and the bedroom uh, is in that of danger and injuries. So after living in the house for two years, uh, she feel very lethargic. Okay, very hard for her to drive up energy uh, uh, in the workplace. Okay, then she also falls sick quite often, uh, which is quite rare because uh, she led quite a healthy lifestyle. And she injured various parts of her body. She had a shoulder injury uh, that led to surgery. And uh, she had a torn ligament on her right leg. And she had some injuries on her spine and her legs as well, on her left leg as well. In the workplace, she is facing bankruptcy because uh, you know her partner, her business partner cheated her money. Okay, so she's having issues with her partner at home as well. Okay, so with her very limited resources, right, we really got no choice. But we ask her to move out of the place. This is what we call unfungshuiable, or rather, it is what we call if you want to feng shui this house, right, you will be spending so much money. Uh, I, I I don't think it is. I don't think it is wise. Might as well like change the place that you're living. So uh, we asked her to move out. So when she moved out into a new place and she started a business later on, right, her life began to change. So right now she's actually a CEO of a successful security technology company. And her revenue crosses at of four, uh, 40 million a year. So can Feng Shui ultimately one shot you know, uh, change a person's life until so dramatically? Actually, no. Okay? She has an amazing Ba Zi chart. That is why she's very successful. But she's being dragged down by the lousy Feng Shui of her previous home. That is how powerful Feng Shui can be. Because when it is bad, it can be very bad. So you should not underestimate it. But however, if we flip it and we use it for good, we can get someone back on track. So in Hoseki, right, one of the key things is we always believe in getting customers who are hurt back on their feet. Okay, so good feng shui empowered her and gave her the courage to overcome her difficulties. Okay, so she began to em uh, encounter what we call benefactor luck. She meet a lot of new people in her, her business. So she go out, she go and network. And she meet a lot of this, what we call sincere clients. Okay, don't need to have lavish dinner, don't need to drink a lot of alcohol to close the sale one. Okay, very sincere clients. And she service them very well as well because she's good at her job. Now she opened a new office, right? And we are also in charge of her renovation plans. Okay, so she's now a blessing actually to her family and her community. Second case study. Drink water first. This one is actually a single mother. Okay, and I like talking about single mothers, right? Because, uh, and I like helping them as well, uh, because uh, they always have a lot of uh, issues that they are facing in their life. And I think it's very meaningful for us to help them out. Okay, uh, the relationship sector within the house uh, is actually a missing sector for her. So that's why, right, uh, it causes a lot of issues with her marriage. Uh, another issue is that her and her husband's parts of chart, right, also have problems. Okay, they don't see eye to eye and are very easy to have what we call clashes. Okay, so they didn't see a feng shui master beforehand. So that's why they moved into this house. And, uh, you know, everything was just exploding already. So it was really hard to, you know, salvage the relationship. That's why actually I always tell people that feng shui is time sensitive. You always need to do your feng shui way ahead so that you can reap the maximum benefits. Don't wait until problems happen. Uh, then after you go and find feng shui master. Yeah, very hard to work magic like that. So it is a, actually a simple HDB unit but there's a missing sector. Okay, so it affects their relationship. Uh, they become very suspicious of each other and the wife uh, uh, makes, makes the life of her husband very very difficult. So her actions right make make the strain the relationship lah, because she keep checking and they want to check people's phone. So although there were no affair, right, but there are a lot of quarrels that happen, right? And it kept accumulating uh, until they cannot stand living with each other anymore. So they broke up. Okay, so divorce, end of story. But the poor relationship stars, right, also affected her at work. Okay. So it gave her a very, very bad uh, cycle in her career as well. So Bad feng shui of the house. She own self also got bad uh, ba zi uh, luck cycle. Uh, 
kind of like affected her quite severely. Lah. So end of, end of the day, right, what happened to her was that the husband took the daughter away. Okay, her husband took the daughter away uh, and she was very upset. She wanted to get into a lawsuit. Okay, want to sue the husband. So come and find me. Uh, how can I take my daughter back? But uh, after reading the after reading the parts chart of hers and comparing that to the husband, right? I don't think she can win the lawsuit. So what we advise her to do uh, is actually to to get so uh, to get shared custody. Okay, to get shared custody. So we use date selection method, right? And we chose a date, right, where the husband is a little bit soft-hearted. So that day is a good day for her to start her negotiation, okay? So when she negotiated during that day, she finally got what she wanted. So right now, she got the daughter back. And then what we did was that, right, we chose a house for her later on, right, which is actually uh, above average one, above average. Now, her career is stable. She lives in an above average house and she gets to see her daughter. That's why the key thing is that, right, it's not always about money. But Hoseki is about getting people back on their feet. Okay, so that's the key thing that, that is important about this case study. Okay, and how Pa Tzu can help people in a very, very modern way, Feng Shui as well. Okay, in summary, uh, we went through like how uh, uh, this uh, Feng, Shui, Feng Shui can be uh, modern. Okay, Pa Tzu can guide you through like a huge variety in your uh, life events. Okay, and it can be extremely helpful. It can help you to understand your destiny, identify your strengths and weakness, understand your luck cycle, so on and so forth. So if you have never done a Pa Tzu reading before, right, I will highly recommend that you try and do it. Try and do it. Okay, at least try and do it because like what I mentioned, right, it is time sensitive and you can use it to solve a lot of issues, right, before it even happened, especially health issues. So when you combine Pa Tzu with Hong Feng Shui, right, it can be a very powerful way to improve your luck. Okay, I generally don't like to use the word improve your luck, but, but yes, in a way, it does improve your decision making. So today only, uh, today only we will be having some uh, promotions as well. Number one, if you have never done a uh, Pa Tzu reading with us, right, we have this promotion of Pa Tzu reading, right, together with one bracelet, okay, that will be going on a discount. So the usual price uh, is actually five to eight, okay, five to eight, uh, doing your Pa Tzu and also getting one bracelet at, uh, from Hoseki. But today we are giving a discount. We are not going to give you four, five, eight. Okay, we're not going to give you 458, but we are going to go a little bit lower than that. Today's discount is at 20%. Okay, we are going to sell this package at 428. If you have never done your Pa Tzu with us, you should. If you have done already and you want to do a yearly reading, right, and you want to upgrade to another bracelet, right, what you can do is you can take advantage of this promotion as well. Because this is only for 24 hours. Second thing is that you can also use a Tomi to check out for installment payment. Okay, this promotion is only for 24 hours for everyone who is seeing this in the seminar. So, uh, can we both share the link over here? Okay. So, uh, that's it for this promotion. Shall we go on to the next one? Okay, guys. So, uh, if you have never done a home feng shui with us, right, we also have a home feng shui package uh, today as well. Home feng shui, I think uh, I don't need to spend too much time explaining on the benefits. Lah, okay. Uh, we all know that home feng shui stands a huge portion of improving our luck, 33.33%. We have a special promo today of combining the home feng shui tree together with the home feng shui package. The original price of this is 2186. Okay. But what we can do today is that right, we're going to give a discount for this package. We're going to give something that's lower than 1888. We are going to go even lower than this, okay? We are, we are going to go like even lower than 1588. So the final price, right, is actually 1288 today. 
Okay, it's actually 1288 today. So if you are interested to do home feng shui and you have been on the scale, like really thinking about it for a very long time, right? There's a promotion that you can take control today because number one, it is at a huge discount of more than 40%. 1288 only. Number two is that you can pay using installment if you use a Tomi and check out on the website. And lastly, right? Lastly, uh, we are launching this golden pichu, uh, which is our new home and living uh, item. So for uh, Hoseki, we are slowly going into uh, more and more uh, home and living. So we have this golden pichu that we just launched. It is very good for people, right, who are facing what we call Tai Sui clashes. So for next year, if you need protection from what we call the Tai Sui clashes, right, you can place a set of these in the living room facing your main door, okay? So this is what we call our guardians of wealth. So the male uh, Pishu, right, will help to attract wealth and the female Pishu, right, will also help to retain wealth, okay? If I give you a unit of a particular condo, will you be able to advise at a fee? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, this is not, not difficult for us. We do this all the time. Okay, so this Twin Prosperity Pichu or Guardians of Wealth promotion, the original price is 468 But today, we are giving a huge discount of 15 plus 10%. So after 15% is 398, but today we are selling it at 358 for 24 hours. Okay, so the promotion is only for 24 hours. And the Pichu is suitable for all zodiac because the Pichu is not a dragon. Okay, I repeat, the Pichu is not a dragon, so it is suitable for all zodiacs. You can click and you can check out the package from the link in the Zoom chat. Okay, uh, so that's all. And right now, we have the Q&A session. Right. Okay, right now, we have the Q&A session from... Maybe I start with the... Yeah, first question. What's the answer? Yeah, so I, I start from like Leona Lim first. What is the direction uh, about in the chart means? So, when you talk about the direction in the chart, I will presume that you are referring to the Qi mapping analysis. Am I right? Uh, Leona? This uh, chart... Are you talking about what we call the uh, Qi mapping process? So, uh, let's assume that if you are talking about the Qi mapping process, right? It stands for the direction of your main door. Okay, so we use that to compare to the floor plan. Then the two things will need to match. And we need to ensure that the key areas like the living room, the bedroom, is actually in the favorable sectors. Okay, it's actually in the favorable sectors. Okay, next one. Te Yu Xing. Does it make a difference if the zodiac uh, or the animal falls in our month, day, hour branch? The answer is yes. Okay, the answer is yes. Okay, let me give you some examples. Example number one. Let's say for example, if you are in the rooster, uh, rooster zodiac, but under the day pillar, right, you have what we call the rabbit zodiac. Imagine that the rooster and the rabbit will have the Tai Sui clash next year. You will be having what we call the Tai Sui clash your entire life. And the person that will affect you the most is your spouse. So yes, the answer is yes. If you have zodiacs within your month, day, hour, pillar, right? It can cause issues if there are clashes. Imagine a permanent Tai Sui clash. Imagine a permanent Tai Sui clash. What would that do to a person? Okay, so the answer is yes. The zodiac falling within the different parts of your chart can be very powerful. Charlotte, can pick start new business in 2023? Depends on your Ba Zi chart much more than your zodiac. But in general, pigs have good luck 
But if you want to be 100% sure whether or not your bar chart is having a favorable year, right, what you can do is that this seminar, uh, I'm going to read 2023 sneak peek for free anyway. So send in your request to my WhatsApp and I'll try to answer them at the rest of the day. But otherwise, you can also go for a detailed reading if you want to understand how you should structure the beginning of your business, okay? Ping Yu, can you send me a copy of the slides uh, to my email address? Okay, uh, I'm going to have them send out uh, the slides, right, to all you guys' emails, okay? To all you guys' email. So Bibo, can you take note that we need to send the slides to everybody's email address first? Thank you very much. Uh, I was just wondering if you talk about the benefit of the luck. Okay, Match Lee. When we talk about the Rabbit Zodiac, right, uh, I think uh, you are correct in the sense that, right, it can be injuries, but it can also be in the form of illnesses. Why? Because it is very hard for the rabbits to feel satisfied next year. So which is why uh, it is easy for this feeling right to cause injuries. Why? Because when your thinking is extreme, sometimes you like to take risks. And when you take risks when you are weightlifting, we all know what the dangers are. Okay, you want to lift a little bit heavier because you are you're angry and you just want to like bench a little bit heavier so you can like you know uh, maybe vent your anger right this often results in what we call typical gym injuries okay typical gym injuries so in that sense the answer is yes but in a way right in a way it can also cause like other form of injuries as well Since there are backstabbers for Snake, would it be a good year for a career switch or job change? Okay, uh, Joanne Tan. Joanne Tan, I want to answer this question, uh, but the issue is that, right, uh, this question is much more complicated than what you are uh, saying because the key thing that you want to do is a career switch and also a job change. So it is not easy for me uh, to actually tell you about this without reading your entire Zi chart. Okay, if you have a job that is paying you four thousand dollars a month, should you break and go to study? It depends because it depends on what you are studying, whether or not it's related, and also depends on where you are studying. So there are too many of these uh, questions, right? There are too many. Uh, there are too many. Uh, issues right, revolving this thing that you are saying, right? So which is why it is important for us to do what we call Ba Zi reading. Like what I always mention, if it is such an important decision, right? I mean, career change, right? Can affect like, I don't know, $20,000 of income easily a year. Uh, if it is important, right? I don't think a $288 uh, Ba Zi reading, right? Is expensive compared to making such a key decision. So. I have a lot of doctors coming to me as well. They will ask like, hey, uh, it, should I go and study in this area to become a specialist or should I continue to become a GP? Should I switch to become a uh, aesthetics doctor or should I continue to work in the ER? So there are people asking us this question for detailed reading. If there's something that really, really irks you, right, you should consider going for what we call a detailed reading session. After all, we do have what we call the bundle right now at 428. You can have the reading plus you can also have the bracelet. So a lot of people, they only want the bracelet. They don't want to do the reading. But I think this is a good chance for you to take up this bundle since we have this promotion. Okay, uh, Rayson, Tiger Luck. Uh, Tiger Luck, generally, it is much better than 2022. But I wouldn't say that it is super fantastic. Okay, I wouldn't say that it is super fantastic. So which is why uh, I think if there is something that is important to you, right? If you want to do a reading with us, let us know. Okay, we will try our best to help you out. But in general, Tiger will be better in 2023. Uh... Okay, uh, so for the slides, we will share with everybody. Mabel, so if you lack wood, right, and you have too much water, uh, what 
can actually happen right in 2023 right is that you might be very very creative because wood is going to be your creative star and there's a lot of wood next year although it is a water year okay although there's a it is a water year but there's a lot of wood next year okay so if this year is not doing very well for you right it could be because that this year is a water year and if you have too much water then the water will overflow so it depends on whether or not this water is what we call the robbery star or the water is what we call the overthinking star so it depends on what area uh, this is but from my point of view right i would say that right um, it is better for you to try and understand exactly in your Zi chart for next year's cycle okay it's important for you to understand for next year's cycle rather than using the elements to determine your direction for next year mm. For the direction, is it the facing or my back? Okay, it is the facing. Okay, if the goat is in the hour. Okay, neighbor. So if the goat is in the hour, right? Uh, it generally does not mean that your asset investment will be good. Okay, it does not mean that. Okay, what it means uh, is actually that, right? Uh, you need to see your day master as well. And you need to see how this goat affects your day master. Let's say, for example, uh, goat is actually in that of what we call the earth element. Okay, if earth is your favorable element, then that is good. And then plus goat is good next year. Okay, that is double good. But the issue is that if earth is not your favorable element, then you have a problem. Okay, then you have a problem. And also, the hour pillar represents your children. Okay, your children. Okay, so yeah, if you would love to understand more of your Pazi reading, right, what we can do is that you can also join us for the yearly reading as well. Okay, or the or the uh, macro reading if you, if you have not never done it before. Lah. Is it true that there's something called a Lao Xiong, uh, actually it is true. What you are mentioning is actually the tiger, snake and monkey clash. But this clash, right, is not exactly like what you mentioned 56, 29. Uh, it depends on where this happens within your chart and it's different for everybody. So which is why it is important that, you know, we do and invest in a Ba Zi reading, right? So we can find out exactly where these 369 are. And the 369 is life-changing, okay? It is life-changing. The wife that I was telling you about that cheated the husband of the money experiences what we call the 369 clash. And which is why her personality becomes extremely, ex uh, is extremely extreme, very unpredictable. Yeah, it is also what we call a cruelty clash. Cruelty clash, which is why if you have never done a Ba Zi reading, right, I highly suggest that you do it to find out where all your 369 are. Actually, uh, this one uh, we do for all our clients because if you have a 369, it is considered what we call a critical year. And we always go through what we call the critical years for clients. In a Ba Zi reading session, what we do is that we go through the strengths and weaknesses, we go through the career, we also go through what we call spouse relationship, children relationship, wealth, um, finances, investments, or investment, everybody loves this word. And then we also go through what we call uh, business luck. And lastly, we go through what we call health and also critical years. Under critical years, 369 is one of the key things that we will analyze because it is a very, very critical uh, event that could happen or somewhat life-changing event that could happen and somewhat change your attitude towards things. That's why we call it the cruel clash. Can I check? Uh, Nicole Lim. So the Zi will change uh, every single year because of the changing year cycle. So like what we mentioned, right? Zi is an interaction. Although the other parts of your Zi doesn't change, but since the year cycle changes, right? The entire interaction changes. So which is why it is important for you to do it yearly. Okay? It is important for us to do it yearly because it will change dynamically. Okay? Yeah, we will also send you the slides and also the ebook. I think my day master is red. Will clash with goat. 
Okay, uh, Mabel, uh, the answer is maybe yes. There's a high chance, maybe yes, maybe yes. Uh, so it is important for you maybe to check the entire Pazi chart. But because at the bottom of your day master, uh, that one is actually spouse. So your, your children one, we will need to see the interaction with your children pillar at the hour pillar where we can do it during a detailed Pazi session. And the thing about my style of Pazi reading is that, right, I don't like to tell you what is going to happen. I like to explain to you why I know that this is going to happen. And perhaps through this relationship, right, you can self-convince because you are learning how to read your own chart. Okay? You are learning how to read your own chart. I strongly believe in this method because I don't want you to just take my word for it. Learn how to read your own chart and understand why it is logical. Okay, like I mentioned, it is an interaction of all the elements. During the session, take it as a session of learning. Okay, uh, now I'm answering this question. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce your name, but uh, am I doing this right? Atelier. Yeah, so um, I cannot answer your question without doing a detailed planning uh, because I need to plot. I need to plot it out in a detailed reading, right, of you and your husband, uh, sorry, your boyfriend. Then, number one is that, right, I need to see what we call your business luck. Number two is that I need to see your boyfriend's business luck. Number three, I need to know exactly how you guys are managing the business, what aspects is managed by who. For example, if you are very good in marketing, should you be spending time doing finance? Probably not. If he is very good in doing finance, you should let him manage the finances instead. So what we will do uh, in a business planning consultation is always what we call a route mapping. We draw out a route map and we tell you strategically, step one, you should do this. Step two, you should do this. Step three, you should do this. Okay? The thing is that if you don't do a route mapping for clients, right, they will forget things. They will forget things. For example, if I tell you that, oh, you should wear green in your life, you should do this in your business, you should do that to your business, right? You sure forget one. So I am more afraid that you forget than you uh, being afraid that you forget. What I'll do is that I very kiasu one. I will tell you step one, please do this. After that, one month later, step two, please do this. Step three, please do this. Step four, please do this. Step five, please do this. Every single part of the session is very, very strategic and very, very logical and very time sensitive. I will tell you that this year you do this like that, like that, like that. Business owners love us for this reason because, because we provide them a route map. Okay, they don't wanna they don't wanna know like like all the things that are not useful. They just wanna like just tell me what to do. So I know how you think and I know how I can help you. Okay? So if you you think that this is something that is interesting for you, right? Let me know. Let me know and, and I will help you with it. Okay, Tang, probably answer this question. Can feng shui item be placed in the bedroom? The answer is yes. Okay. Uh, what is the thing that is important to put in the bedroom? Um, your feng shui tree. Your favorable elements feng shui tree. Okay, no problem, Atelier. I'm happy that you are interested. And uh, let me know uh, when you want to see me. What I can do is that I can provide this package for you. So uh, sign up our package today because it is very cheap. Uh, the promotion is only 24 hours. 24 hours. Tomorrow, no more. Okay? Tomorrow, no more already. So, Bebo is very hardworking one. She's going to stand by on her computer, right? And then when the time is up, uh, Bebo is going to off the promotion. No, la, I'm just kidding. La. Bebo will probably put a timer there. La. <laughs> so, so, it probably be put on a timer. I don't think Bebo will sit there and off it when the time is up. Okay, so, not to worry. Can the feng shui item be placed in your bedroom? Uh? The answer is yes. Like I mentioned, feng shui tree. If you want to use the tissue in your bedroom, right, it is possible as well. But please ask me where to put it in the bedroom, okay? Please ask me where. Okay, uh, 
you are not able to listen with the recording. Yeah, we will have a recording for sure. We will have a recording. To clarify, I was asking about the Zodiac for 2023. Correct. Yes, I was doing for that as well. Will rental market be good next year? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Okay, there will be a lot of friendship stars. And because of these friendship stars, right, traveling will be a key thing next year as well. And since businesses are expanding somewhat, despite the, in, uh, the inflation, right, we are going to have a lot of people coming to Singapore. And when they come to Singapore, right, then they're going to need places to live, right? Otherwise, how? Stay hotel, very expensive. Number two, sleep on the streets. Then police come and catch you. So you sure need a place to stay. Answer to Doro is the rental market is good next year. But my question to you is, Doro, why are you asking this question? Is it because that you are a property agent? So if you are, right, uh, you will also want to know that, right, a lot of top property agents are actually our clients. Okay, just today, somebody was telling me that I'm actually quite famous within Popnex. Yes, the answer is because a lot of top agents in Popnex are our clients as well. Why? Because my prices are very cheap and affordable. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Uh. The other reasons is that, of course, our structure, uh, structured replies to them and our strategic route mapping helps them as well. Let's say a lot of agents will always ask me this question. Uh, should I be a manager or should I be a normal agent? Like, evergreen question. A lot of people ask, ask until I go and write a blog about it. The second question that people often ask is that, right, what months are good for me for doing sales, chonging sales, okay? We cannot work 12 months a year when we will die, okay? Yes, we can work, but we cannot work like 100% 12 months a year. So we always need rest, we always need holiday, but for sure you don't want to go holiday on your key months, right? Like if your months, like let's say for example, if June and July is very good, then you go holiday, you die, right, I tell you. Yeah, there goes your year already. Can horse change career next year, Doro? The answer is yes, but from a zodiac point of view, I would tell you that, uh, you know, uh, compared to Ba Zi, right, the accuracy of the zodiac is 12% or less. So uh, that question is better answered if I can see the entire chart. Like I always mention, uh, if, the, if the thing, the change that you are going to make is very, very important, right, don't save on Ba Zi. Think of the value. 288 versus a new career where you can net an increment of like say maybe ten twenty thousand dollars a year it is somewhat like a good investment to make okay but let's say if next year you have emotional clashes maybe not in your uh zodiac but maybe you have the emotional clash within what we call your career pillar you are still going to face a problem okay you are still going to face a problem that's why i don't Sometimes think strategically, la, I would say. Think of it like a business. Think of it like a business. Today, I was just talking to a, 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 a staff, right? And, and she was like telling me that, right? Live streaming, uh, live streaming uh, is not worth the effort. Whenever uh, I open live stream, uh, only got 10 people watching me. So I told her something. Uh, okay, live streaming, uh, no, uh, not worth your effort, right? Okay, second thing. Opening shop worth your effort. I said, yeah, yeah, I think opening shop can. But why if you open shop also no people come in? So sometimes we think that we on the live stream, uh, we want to see miracle happening. 1,000 people coming in like Wang Lei like that. But my point to you is that, okay, think of it like a business, please. Think of Pa Zi like a business too. After I do already, I want to strike 40. No. But after you do already, right, if you make a better decision on your career, your return on investment is $288 versus $20,000. Which is why I always tell people that don't be unfair, okay? We need to give it a fair, fair uh, comparison. We need to do a fair comparison. The months you mentioned in Zodiac is Lunar or Western, Susan. When we use Pa Zi, we always use Western. You, the months you mentioned in Zodiac, okay, like what we say, Western. Western, like Da Wang Qiu, Western, Western Greek, okay? Western Greek. Will the snake be better in 2023? The answer is yes. The bracelet we buy from you will be blessed. The answer is yes. The reading, must we come down in person, Tyson? 
you don't need to come down in person. You can also Zoom because I have clients also from the US. I have clients from Canada. I have clients from Australia. I have also clients from I don't know New Zealand. Yeah, I have one client from the New Zealand. Then uh, if you are、uh, UK as well, I even have one client from Italy.、Uh, Ireland also have. They not possible to come down one. So always Zoom. Okay, but if you are as crazy as my Taiwanese clients, right, who are in Taiwan and you still want to come here and visit me, ah,、uh, and sit a plane just to do your parts, no problem. Please go ahead. But we can always choose. Some of my clients, right, stay too long already, don't want to come already. So we have two option. We can face to face. We also can zoom. Okay, the effect will be the same. There's no need for me to touch your hand and then after that feel your energy inside me and then I can read your chart. No need. It is very logical. I can tell you how I read it. Okay, no problem. Okay, no need for me to touch and feel one. Okay, and now COVID period, ha,、huh? touch, ha, touch, ha, touch, ha. People don't like. Okay, it's the past virus. Yeah, people want to shake my hand. I also scared. Can we fist bump? Ah,、uh. if I want to switch the master room to another room, must we do it before two zero two three? Per. Ah,、uh, this question begs another question: is whether or not you should switch the、uh, master room to another room. Okay, it begs that question, because I need to see the layout of your house and whether it is wise for you to do so. Uh, so if you want, uh, we can actually do a feng shui audit for you. Okay, we can do a feng shui audit for you for this question. Okay, couple of things that、uh, we can break this down. The first thing is that right. Let's say, for example, if we want to look at fixing the feng shui of a house, uh, importantly, we need to see what sector the bedroom is at. If you are shifting the master room to another place that is of a negative or a not so good sector. What is the impact that it will have on you? We only have eight sectors within the house and four good sectors, four not so good sectors. Is it possible that some of the important places must be in the bad sector? The answer is yes. Not possible to have a super perfect house unless your luck is super good. My point is that if it is located in the bad sector, what can we do in terms of feng shui to reduce the impact of this? That is the key to answering this question. Sure, got places in the bad sector one, but how can we reduce? Okay, how can we reduce? That's why I need to see floor plan. Ah, need to see floor plan. Okay. Ah,、uh, if my day master is in water, next year is what? Ah,、uh, water rabbit. Will it be favorable for me, even though I'm dragon or snake? Hazel, 你还是给我你整个 chart 吧。你这样子很像给我猜谜语。你猜猜谜语，连我又读了这么多 question， 我回来还要记你的那个 different zodiac 在哪里哦。这样的话，如果如果如果我这样 read 的话，很容易 make mistake 的，很容易 make mistake 的。That's not good for you 啦，哈。So if I can see the entire chart, right, I can give you a better understanding 啦。Very straightforward one, okay? 嗯。Okay, Susan. The promotion is 24 hours. Yeah, I'm supposed to repeat this like every every、uh, few minutes. But the promotion is 24 hours. Can you guys like hang something on me that has sound coming out? So it, you know, it will always say like 24 hour, 24 hour, 24 hour. Okay, I'm just kidding. The promotion is actually for 24 hours only. Okay, so now coming back to Susan's question. Uh, all the months is Western. Okay, yes, it's Western. Okay. Uh, does the okay? I'm at the last ten question. I very 辛苦，我要喝水。Then one shot finish. 最后十个。Okay, I answer this question first. If I purchase the package, do I need to redeem it immediately, or can I redeem the reading at a later timing that suits you? You can redeem it at a later timing. No problem. Just tell us when you want to set the appointment, and then we will set it for you. And then I will say hi to you. We can zoom. We can do face to face. But if you come to my office, face to face, right? I will I will offer you a drink. Okay, I will offer you a drink. Yeah. Try not to have the alcoholic drinks because I need you to remain, uh, uh, calm during the reading. Huh? Then you want you want you want can take things. Otherwise, you drink, you drink, you don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, is there any proper way to keep our bracelet in the bedroom? Ah,、uh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Pentier Eng, okay, uh, 2023 uh, re refers to uh, the, the next year after Li Chun. Okay, the Li Chun is actually 4th of February. Okay, so that is the start of next year. If I just buy the element tree, would you be able to advise where to put in my house? Ben, Po, no problem. You buy already, you send me a message, I tell you. Okay? If I too slow to reply your message, you bomb my handphone. Not, not the real bomb. Nah. You send a lot of message, that kind of bomb. Now these got terrorists are very scared. So not the real kind of bomb, okay? Red and rabbit clash. What impact would there be if red is in the year pillar? <sighs> Cheryl Ong. Number one, if you have kids, your kids will dislike you. If you have parents, relationship will be affected. Okay? If you want to know how to reduce the impact of this, or maybe if it's something that's important to you, let me know. Okay, then I'll try to help you uh, to overcome this issue. Some of these clashes affect people more than the others. Were the pig better in 2023? Uh, answer is yes, but the pig is not very bad this year as well. Okay, if you're having a bad year, right, then you need to look at your entire parts of chart. That will be more accurate. Does choosing a seat desk affect my work or life since I spend many work, uh, hours there? The answer is yes, uh, Jason. Uh, the answer is yes. So uh, if your seat is at a wrong place, right, that can be a little bit problematic for you. But here I want to introduce you guys another concept of sector. What is called sector? Sector uh, concept is called location. Okay, 你的桌子跟椅子在哪里? 重要过你的桌子跟椅子face什么方向? So, the location of your desk and your seat is more important than the direction of your desk and your seat. So, if you have a bad location, your direction will only help you a little bit. Okay? Uh, hope that answers your question, Jason. So, location... More important than direction, okay? Does the element of your... Okay, is unit number important? Not exactly, okay? Not exactly. And the way of feng shui calculating unit number is different from that. Is different from that of uh, normal. So, uh, when we talk about unit number, right? in feng shui, right? It is only used for landed. It is only used for landed property, okay? And the way of calculating unit number is very specific in terms of feng shui. It is not seeing the number on your door. Not like that, okay? If somebody see the number on your door and they tell you this is the way that feng shui calculate unit number, you must be very concerned, okay? It is not calculated like that. If it is calculated like that, uh, you talk to Mr. Google can really, don't need to talk to me, okay? Don't need to talk to me. Mr. Google can answer that question. Does the element of your tissue bracelet change every year? Nicholas, uh, the element of your tissue bracelet, right, that you need does not change every year because whenever you come to Hoseki, we will read for whole life. But there will be some people that also want to buy the yearly bracelet as well. So it depends on your appetite and how far you want to go for this question, okay? So you can get the whole life one, you can also get the yearly one. Is there a flying star and a monthly flying star? Hang, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Okay, uh, after knowing the past uh, session with you, uh, am I able to understand better if I should buy a house now? Susan, the answer is yes. Because when we do the past session, right, we need to understand at what life stage you are at right now. And if you are at a certain life stage whereby, you know, you are facing certain financial issues within the next 
10 years, then I will advise you not to buy the house, but perhaps to look for other investment instruments that maybe can give you a better reward. Number one, Chase, which is me myself, is a businessman. So since I'm a businessman, right, I know the thing about profit. If let's say you can get a better profit in investing in a house right now, I will tell you, Susan, please go ahead. But if let's say it is a bad thing and I see your chart, your next luck cycle is not very good, then maybe I don't want your money to be all tied inside. And I'll tell you that, Susan, this is one of the issues that you could face. Now, it is up to you to make this decision whether you still want to buy the house. Susan, does that answer your question? Ba-zi will include year assessment. The answer is yes. I surely will tell you next year is what kind of year for you. Okay, otherwise, all my clients will squeeze me to death. <laughs> Confirm must tell you that lah. 不然你哪里肯让我离开那个房间,对吗?你一定抓住我的。一定要跟你讲的,不可能不跟你讲。Yeah, yeah. So if I'm going to do a reading before, uh, okay, will it be based on two shows? Evelyn, it will be based on a macro reading. So it will be based on a whole life reading. I will tell you about 2023, but I will also tell you about your whole life as well. Why? Because we want to know what we want to do right now. But we also want to know what we want to do right now, the things that we do, how it's going to affect the rest of our life as well. So it's all tied together, you see. We need a macro point of view. And then we go down to the micro to this year, what we should be doing. Okay, although I will not do the monthly thing for you, but at least I will tell you that this year you need to focus on this, 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 this. Okay, I hope that answers your question, Evelyn. Okay, how is monkey for 2023? Uh, not exactly very good. Not exactly very good. Okay, uh, hi master. So how can we book appointment through WhatsApp? We do together with my boyfriend. Okay, it depends on whether or not you want to take up the package of the bracelet. So if let's say you want to take up two uh, uh sessions, right? Uh, what you can do is that, right? You can take control of this special promotion right now because there is this 20% discount, which is very time sensitive, limited as well. Uh, it is only until, until, uh, you know, tomorrow, 24 hours only 24 hours only so what you can do is that you can buy the package and then after that you whatsapp me and then we set the appointment if you want to buy only the parts reading right only the parts reading right what you can do is that right you can go to my website and buy just the reading for two people check out and we can set an appointment on whatsapp or you can whatsapp me if you don't know how to do all this and i can guide you through the process okay master is red uh, horse next year will be good luck. Red is not too bad, but red suffers from what we call an emotional clash. So it's easy for you to be too straightforward and offend people. Horse next year is not too bad, but horse next year also got Tai Sui as well. So horse will go through what we call poor Tai Sui, which is why it's easy for the horses to offend people and also easy for the horses to suffer from health issues and injuries. Okay, Tiger next year not very bad. So if two of your household is having what we call the Tai Sui clash, right? The Tai Sui Clash uh, uh, is, you know, the one thing about the Tai Sui Clash is that, right, you can actually buy what we call the uh, Pi Shu, the Pi Shu, right, uh, the Golden Pi Shu to protect your household from the Tai Sui Clash. Janice, it has already ended and we are actually doing the Q&A, okay? Doro, how much is the reading? The reading is actually $288, but there is a super, super cool promotion right now that we are having. 20% off for that price. So if you 288 plus one bracelet is 500 plus, but at 20% off, uh, the price is only 428 for one bracelet and also for the reading. Which is why if, you, if it is possible, take up the promotion right now today because the promotion is only for 24 hours. It's only for 24 hours, okay? Master, 2023 NE Gen sector is in the living room or the whole floor plan? Uh, Gen sector in the living room or the whole floor plan? I think it is just the living room. Okay, it is just the living room. Okay, no problem. If I don't know my birth hour, is it very disadvantageous? Uh, Match Lee, I have done for clients who don't know their birth hour before. So if you don't know your birth hour, that is a problem. 
Okay, uh, how do I buy just the Bazi package? Uh, okay, uh, can you guys uh, help me to paste for Lynette just the Bazi package? So if you don't know your birth hour, right, it can be a little bit difficult to read your Bazi chart. But if you do a detailed reading with me, I can guess the birth hour for you. Or maybe we can't guess the exact birth hour, but it will be around that range. Then we can know roughly your personality is like how, and we can use it to plot the rest of your luck. I hope that answers your question, Match Lee. Thank you very much for asking this question. It is a very, very good question. Jason, if I already got bracelet, there are other things. Yes, we have the golden tissue that you can put in the household to retain wealth and to attract more wealth. You can put it in the living room and facing your main door. So it is quite a good item for you to buy as well. Okay. The promotion of the Ba Zi Year Reading and Pishu. Yes, Sophia Yo, correct. Have promotion of Ba Zi Year Reading and Pishu. Yes. Uh, oh, just the Pishu and the Ba Zi Year. Uh, wow, actually we don't have that. Sorry, I meant just the Ba Zi, not with bracelet. Yeah, they want, she want just the Ba Zi. Okay, yeah, correct, thanks. Okay, uh, promotion of the Ba Zi Year reading with the Pishu. Ah, uh, yeah, Bibo pays ready. Okay, so Sophia, uh, Ba Zi reading and the Pishu. I don't have this. Okay, why not you send me a message? If this is something that what you are looking at, right? Uh, I create a promo code just for you. Okay, I create a promo code just for you. Cannot like that. Ah. I, I think can, ah, never mind. Ah. We do for Sophia. Oh shit. Vivo scold me already. Okay, ah, never mind. Ah, never mind ah. I think Sophia is a regular. It's okay. Ah. Yeah. Okay, uh, how is the rabbit year next year? Good year to change job. Rabbit year next year, quite a good year, okay? But difficult for you to be satisfied. So control your emotions. Okay, uh, okay. So if you guys are interested, you message me, then I see what I can do. Lah. Maybe I create a, a small promo code for just this seminar for adding that two items. The bracelets must wear daily after part two reading session. Uh, do we go to ICA to check the birth cert? Well, uh, for the birth timing, you can see your uh, yeah, you can you can see your birth certificate. You can see your birth certificate. Okay. Okay, Doro. If you only want the parts reading without bracelet, right? Uh, you can use the single eleven promo code. Yeah. So you type in single eleven and then you check out the parts reading. Okay, uh, Doro, Doro. Uh, you can do that. Will 2023 for Earth Gold? Uh, I would say that it's generally okay for gold. Uh, if you want to understand a little bit more, I believe that you can because I, I think we have a meeting, right? Uh, Janine, if, I, if I'm not forgotten, we are supposed to meet each other and I'm supposed to do a Bazi reading for you. So I will explain to you more using your Bazi. I think that will be more uh, to the point, okay? Okay, Chase is hungry. A hungry man is an angry man because hungry. So this is the last question for Perk. <laughs> Rabbit for next year. Okay, this is our Okay, for goat and pig, is next year a good year? Uh, yes, somewhat good. Rabbit next year. How is rabbit? Not too bad, but I need to control emotions. 